I'm Crystal, and I live with my husband Alex and our cat Riley. Despite living with lupus, I try to enjoy life to its fullest. So come share in life's big and little moments with me. In my shoes. Hey guys, it is Sunday night and I'm so, so tired from the last few days. Uh, Christmas is always, it's nice. I love Christmas and I love seeing family and spending time with them, but it is exhausting um, because for Alex and I, um, I think I mentioned this before, both of us have parents who are not together. So that makes for families <laughs> to go to. And the only day so far that we got to stay home and relax was just on Friday, Boxing Day. And the rest of the time we've been out visiting people. Um, and it's back to work tomorrow, so... <laughs> I just feel like we don't really get to have time off. Now, I was lucky in that I had Tuesday and Wednesday off. But again, you know, Christmas Eve, we were at Alex's mom's. So I really only had like two and a half days off. But um, it was still a wonderful Christmas. And I wanted to show you, I didn't get a chance to show you guys the slippers that my mom bought me because um, I didn't record me opening them at her place. And then she took them to exchange them for a larger size. So I wanted to show you my slippers, my new slippers. Here they are. And they're purple. They're purple. Um, so she managed to get me a larger size. Um, also my replacement Nick Carter book arrived, um, and I checked it out and it's not falling apart like the other one. Um, also yesterday we went to my uncle's, which is my mom's brother, um, my aunt and my uncle's, um, for dinner. So they live in Barrie, which is about an hour to an hour and a half drive, um, for us. So we got there around 1 30 and we left at about 9 30 I think and so we had a really nice time. We exchanged gifts. We chatted. Um, well really we just basically gave my grandma her gifts and um, we just talked and caught up and we had a delicious dinner. Um, my aunt um, used her leftovers from her Christmas Day dinner. Um, so turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, vegetables, and she made a turkey casserole out of it all. And it was so good. Um, and then she also made ham. And we had, um, my grandma made this cake of hers that we all love. It's a fruit cocktail cake and it is so good. And it was the first time that Alex had it, surprisingly. I thought he had it before, but he said no. And he absolutely loved it. And then my aunt also had baked goodies. She makes these amazing macaroons. She makes sugar cookies, gingerbread cookies. So we had all of that. And then after dessert, we all played a game of Cards Against Humanity. We used Alex's um, expansion cards that I got him for Christmas, and it was so much fun. We had a blast. We shortened the game um, just because it takes a long time playing it. Um, my grandmother's a little bit slow with the game, so um, it took us a long time just to reach six, someone to reach six points. Usually it's whoever reaches 10 points first is the winner, but we made it five and then we were like, oh, well, we're going kind of quick. Maybe we can still make it 10. But then we looked at the time and we're like, no, you know what? Let's just make it that the next person 
to get to six points as the winner. So we did that. And so, like I said, we left around 930. Um, my grandma always gives us a card with money in it. And she also gave us some little gifts to go with it this year. Look who's climbing up on my lap here. Just before I started vlogging, um, I came to sit down on the couch and he had buried himself in my blanket here and I didn't see him. I didn't know he was there and I almost sat on him. So then he went running away and now he's back. Right, yeah. right, Riley? You've recovered from that panic of me almost sitting on you. That's why you shouldn't bury yourself in my blanket. Because I didn't know you were there. Hey, buddy. I love you. <laughs> um, yeah, so we did that. And um, so anyways, this is what my grandma gave me along with the money. She gave me this really cute um, um, soap dispenser. It actually does have soap in it. And it's like a Santa. It's so cute. And then she gave me this... Um, it was wrapped up in a little um, basket wrap type thing. It's a little bird bath candle, but I was kind of sad because when I opened it, I noticed that um, part of the ear is broken off, and I don't know how well you can see this, but let's see if it'll focus in. Come on, focus. Um... On this side it has whiskers, but on this side there's no whiskers. And it looks like there's supposed to be three whiskers on that side, but one of them is just hanging. And I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> yes, Riley. Oh, here we go. Um, you can see it's kind of like hanging down there. And then this side doesn't have any whiskers at all. And then this side the ear is broken. <laughs> so that's kind of sad. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure where she got it. It might have just been from like a, a craft sale or dollar store or something, but it's falling apart. <laughs> um, but it's cute. Like it's a cute little candle holder. But anyways, um, so she got us that. Now Riley is needing my blanket. And then today... We were kind of surprised because it's Sunday and there's usually no mail on Sunday. But I guess they're still on a holiday schedule because the mailman came by today and delivered my rooting pillow. Um, I used my gift certificate that my mom got me for Dolls by Sandy. I used it as soon as I got home from her place to get my rooting pillow. And it came already. Look at it. So... I was really excited because on the website it said that the pattern of fabric varies and like you can't select the fabric. It's just whatever you get, you get. And I was so excited that it was pink and girly and there's a monkey on there and there. And um, so this is the bottom part, I believe. Yeah, this is the bottom part that goes on your lap. So it goes like this on your lap. And then this part's like um, a fleecy kind of material. So the head won't slide around. And you plop the head right in the middle and root away. And it's supposed to make it so that the head doesn't move away from you. And it's like nice in your lap. So I am really excited to get to use this for rooting. I hope it'll be a lot better easier and better for me um, because I've been using a travel pillow you know one of those neck pillow things and I sewed the ends together to make it like a donut um, but because the center has a hole um, it was just falling through so then I would drape a blanket over it which made it bulky um, and even then it wasn't the greatest so I'm hoping this will be a really good thing and I'm just so excited that there's monkeys on it and this little elephant with a, a flower so that is exciting I like it and it's really squishy and soft <laughs> it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be um, but I think that's a good thing because you know if you have a really big head to root it'll hold that too right Riley isn't it cool do you like my rooting pillow what do you think of it Come on. 
You usually have lots to say. What do you think of the roofing pillow? I'll have to keep it away from you because you're going to think it's a bed. Right? He's just purring away. Are you purring? Can we hear your purrs? Let's see if we can hear. Go purrs. I don't know if you guys can hear his purrs, but he can get pretty loud with his purrs sometimes. Can't you, Riley? My little baby. Mama loves her Riley. I do, I do. Look at that sweet little face. Yes, you're such a handsome fellow. Mm-hmm. You're my handsome little boy. Oh, and you love the neck rubs. And you love the belly rubs. You just love any kind of pets. Mm-hmm. Sucky-wucky. I love you. <laughs> I love my Riley. All right. Anyways, I guess that's it for this video. Um, it's back to work tomorrow. And I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Um, just once again, thank you so much for watching and commenting. I love reading all your comments. And um, I try to respond to every one of them, but sometimes it's not possible because I'm so busy, but I try my best. And Happy New Year, everyone. Um, I'll probably post a video on New Year's Eve anyway, but um, just in case something happens and I don't, I just want to wish all of you a very happy New Year in 2015. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. On mail. Um, there is a card, um, I already had opened the package just because I didn't want you guys to see any addresses or anything like that, but there is this card, and this isn't the only fun mail I got either, I have some more to open, um, whoops, there goes the envelope, um, Christmas Blessings, 